Get the Kubra Mantra for your iPhone or mobile device at jasongalant.ca. One way to look at the spiritual journey is that all suffering is caused from some form of rejection. Whether you're rejecting your external circumstance or you're rejecting your internal experience. Okay, so I guess I'll call this the path of rejection. That's the path of the ego, is the path of rejection. You reject everything. The ego rejects everything. It rejects you, it rejects your circumstance, it rejects everything around you, including the love that is coming towards you at all times. It rejects your inner divinity. It rejects anything that is unconditional love. And when this rejection gets bad enough, you become a seeker. And at that point, you start to find a way to heal these parts inside you that have rejected things subconsciously and consciously. One by one, you make your rejections conscious and then you let them go. So a confirmation I'm here to tell you is that when you reject your experiences inside, when you reject your emotions such as anger, your grief, your anxiety, when you reject all of these things, when you say, these are bad, I don't want them anymore, all you're doing is packing them down into a nice pile of dynamite for later. So years go by and you pack stuff down, pack stuff down. Perhaps you even use substances in order to do it. Perhaps you use actions, you know, like to distract yourself from feeling the things that are underneath you, that are driving you, motivating you, all the suffering that is driving you through your life. Perhaps you're using life to distract you from these things in here so that you can pack them down even more. But no matter what you do, you will never be able to hide from these energies inside. At some point, they become so powerful that they come rushing back to you. It's just like stretching an elastic band. You can get away with stretching it, stretching it, stretching it, but at some point, if it's a powerful elastic band and the universe is a very powerful one, it doesn't snap, it actually comes rushing right back towards you. So this is where people have nervous breakdowns or they have all of a sudden an experience or an anxiety attack. They, they're like, where did this come from? Oh my God, I never felt this before. Well, actually you did. You did feel the source energies of that attack, but you've become so good at pushing them down that they were only coming back to you once they've exploded. That's the only time they forced you to become one with them. So I'm here to say to you that there is no such thing as avoidance. There's only such thing as eventuality. Now on the spiritual journey, you become conscious of the fact that everything is eventual and you can just choose how you experience these things. If you push experiences down long enough, they come back in an explosive form. But if you feel things bit by bit and allow things to become one with you, then it becomes a pleasurable, blissful expansion process of the soul. But if you choose to be in the ego, which is all about rejection, at some point, these energies will build up that they will make you into a monster. Some of you may know this as crimes of passion where all of a sudden that nice person we've known for so long all of a sudden just commits murder. And you're like, how did this happen? What happened? It's because they were on the path of rejection for so long that the energies became out of control, like a forest fire. So as you become one with your anger, don't judge it. As you become one with your anxiety, don't judge it. As you become one with your depression, sadness, shame, any of these things, don't suppress them. I'd rather you act out little pieces of being an asshole than wait one day and then be on top of a clock tower somewhere doing something wrong. Okay. It's better to experience these things and allow your humanity to burst forth so that there is no suppression of the universe. And as you do this by bit by bit, what happens is bliss joins, space joins you. Okay. 
So, so many people are afraid of these energies because they think it'll make them into a bad person. But the fact is, it's the suppression of these energies that will make you into a bad person because the explosions will come out where you are absolutely, totally unconscious and that will have no heart in it. It'll be just pure explosive energy flying in all sorts of directions through the filter of the ego. And it's very destructive at that point. It's just like anything with, with pressure in it. I mean, if you have a canister of air, but you keep pumping air in it, pumping air in it, pumping air in it, at some point the pressure will be so bad, it'll create a huge explosion. But if you just let the valve off, just a little bit, little bit, little bit, then there's no explosion. There's only the experience of air. So in this way, you can see the advantage of not rejecting energies because you're allowing yourself to evolve and become one with the energies as you go in a timely fashion and to make adjustments. But if you're on the rejection path, what happens is that these energies become overwhelming. There's just too much for you to integrate all at once and it can be quite explosive. So keep doing what you're doing, you know, accepting things as they come, accepting your internal experiences, meditating, and changing what you can as you change it, but you're always letting go of your internal judgment as you do so. So I hope that helps you experience a little more freedom in your life. Thanks for watching. Take care for now.